Shopping is in full swing, if you can believe it, and spending is expected to be up this year. According to a recent Gallup poll, Americans plan to spend over $1,000 on holiday gifts this year. That's up 10% from last year. Lena Evans from Bank of America is here to help us navigate our holiday shopping. I'm going to be honest, it's stressing me out. Me too. 100%. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for it, but it's time. People are already doing it. It can feel like a marathon. So what are some of the best ways to get started? This yes, holiday? it is time for us last minute Louis. Heather. <laughs> That's us. That's us. <laughs> We'll probably be shopping together awkwardly in December. <laughs> um, so the key to a stress-free shopping season is to plan ahead. Oops. Um, <laughs> so we're late on that we're already. We're probably late on that okay. too. But it's not too late. We, we can do it. Um, first, we're going to start by making a list of everyone that we need to shop for. Family, friends, colleagues, you know, mailman, trash man, everybody. Um, and assign a realistic budget for each person. Like, you got to be real, real about it. Once your list is set, you want to do your best to try not to stray from those amounts. It can be really easy to get caught up in the excitement and mm -hmm. overspend, especially when you're kind of a last minute Louie. Yeah. So sticking to your budget is the foundation of a stress-free shopping experience. And when you're considering gifts, really think about what your loved ones, your friends, your neighbors, your colleagues actually need versus what is trendy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really, okay. really, really important. And personal and thoughtful gifts often resonate more than expensive ones and they really don't have to come with a hefty price tag anymore. Oh, okay. So get organized. That's the first thing. Yes. Um, put some thought into yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Check. Yeah. So now that shopping is starting pretty early, is there a sweet spot? for when we should be hitting stores? I mean, it feels like it's maybe right now. Uh, it literally is. Okay. New data from Gallup shows a shift in holiday shopping habits with more than 40% of shoppers already checking things off their list. 40%. Wow. We are in so close to the minority. Should we be doing this year round? I mean, I, I think so. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so earlier the better. Earlier okay. the better. Um, Black Friday and Cyber Monday may be around the corner, but honestly, there's no need to hold out that long because shopping early gives you time mm. to explore better deals without feeling the pressure of last minute shopping. Um, it's really that the best deals aren't always tied to one day sales anymore. Mm -hmm. There's just so much going on. Um, look for retailers offering smaller consistent sales throughout the month mm -hmm. and start browsing now to lock mm -hmm. in early discounts and compare prices across different stores if you're good at that comparison shopping yeah. thing. Um, shopping early really does help you avoid cramming it all into one day <laughs> and rushing and spending more than you planned. We're going back to staying organized and yes. staying on that list. Well, yeah. I have actually already gotten some deals and it's like early, early Black Friday deals, I think is yeah. what they're calling it online. All right, so we know a lot of people are doing a lot of online shopping this year. Any tips for scoring some good deals without falling into some of these traps where maybe you're not saving yes, as much? Yes, we love an online shopping moment, especially late at night in the pajamas, um, <laughs> but it can be tricky, especially with shipping and return fees, which can really sneak up on you as yeah. you're adding to cart, adding to cart, adding to cart. Um, so make sure when you're shopping online, you look for free shipping promotions or discounts on delivery frees. Um, many retailers offer deals like free returns or special holiday coupons. And before finalizing your purchase, do some quick comparisons with other sites to ensure you're getting the best deal. Also make sure that you look, because sometimes those items, like one item might have free shipping and another might, mm -hmm. item might not. So you make sure you're doing all that comparison back and forth. If it doesn't have free shipping, honestly, I usually just skip right over it. Oh, absolutely. Um, all right, so we picked out our gifts. How do we keep track of everything that we've spent without going overboard? <laughs> I mean, is it too late at that point once you pick the gifts? No, 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 no. Um, trends reveal that 20% of Americans plan to spend more this year than last year like we talked right. about right um, so budgeting is key it's all about staying aware so use your digital tools use your bank app use your budgeting apps to track expenses in real time I will make a note in my phone with the name and the amount and I'll just sort of you know calculate it through there um, if you're shopping with a credit card use ones that um, have cash back or mm -hmm. rewards which is always a great idea um, if you find yourself veering off budget pause reassess, take somebody off the list if you have to. No, <laughs> take something back. Take something back, <laughs> do those returns. Um, and think about whether the extra cost is worth it or should you stick to your original plan. Okay. Um, it's all really about staying disciplined now and that'll help you enjoy a stress-free holiday season while you can give gifts to your loved ones without any financial oh. regret. And that's really what it's all about. Okay, Gosh, yeah. it's just so hard to be disciplined. That's, yeah, that's the problem it when it comes to spending. All right, great tips, Lena. Thank, Thank you so you. much. We'll be right back after this.